What's the healthier choice? 10 strawberries or 10 puffs on a strawberry flavored vape? Spoiler alert, it's the strawberries. And in case you were wondering, there are no strawberries in strawberry flavored vapes. In this evidence-based video, I'm gonna reveal seven crucial things about vapes that you may not want to know. If you suspect your children are using these products, then consider watching this video carefully. Fruity flavored vapes were banned by the FDA in 2020. The ban extended to all retail locations, including online for cartridge-based e-cigarettes flavored with anything other than menthol or tobacco. Unfortunately, the loophole in the definition of cartridges left disposable vapes exempt, leading to a surge in underage youth vaping of these fruit-flavored vapes. In the US, adolescent use of e-cigarettes for 30 days or more increased from 1.5% in 2011 to a staggering 27.5% in 2019. Here in the UK, where I'm based, figures show that children experimenting with vapes tripled in the past three years, with 20.5% of children aged between 11 and 17 trying vapes in 2023. Vapes contain harmful chemicals that irritate the lungs and in some cases cause significant respiratory distress, especially for children with asthma. Despite the appealing pictures and flavors, there are no watermelon, strawberries, or chocolate, marshmallow, sour ice, blueberries in the ingredients. Instead, there are various chemicals with less attractive names like dodecalactone and benzyl alcohol and corylone. The heating elements also consist of metals that could be released during use, including chromium and nickel. It's important to question why these products are being sold to children, given these known risks. Vapes were initially created to help smokers quit, and vapes also contain nicotine. Smoking was banned in public places in the US in 1997 and banned in public places in the UK in 2007. However, the nicotine kept people addicted. This on the screen here is an elf bar, which contains about 600 puffs. This provides the nicotine equivalent to 48 cigarettes. Heavy vapors could easily empty an elf bar in just one day. Please consider sharing this information with anybody who you think may find it valuable. The teenage brain is more susceptible to nicotine because it is more susceptible to addiction. The brain's reward system is especially sensitive during adolescence and nicotine stimulates the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This heightened sensitivity makes adolescents more susceptible to the pleasurable effects of nicotine while the withdrawal symptoms like irritability and anxiety can be unpleasant, they reinforce the nicotine use to temporarily patch over these symptoms. Adolescence is a critical period for brain development and exposure to addictive substances like nicotine during this time can disrupt the normal development of the brain's reward and impulse control systems, making individuals more susceptible to other addictions later in life. Vapes have helped a number of people quit smoking cigarettes. However, vape use among children is on the rise and may serve as a gateway to other addictive behaviors, including smoking. Our lungs are protected by the mucociliary escalator in our airways. Mucus catches the bacteria and other irritants and hair-like projections called cilia move the mucus up and away from our lungs. Vaping can cause this escalator to malfunction. The medical term for this is airway mucociliary dysfunction. This increases the risk of respiratory infections and overall weakens our immune system. In conclusion, the world of vaping is not a harmless cloud of fruity puffs. Understanding the risks associated with vapes is essential, especially if you have children or loved ones who might be using these products. Please share this video with anybody who you think may find it helpful. Comment below and let us know about your experiences and opinions. You've been watching the Physio Channel. My name is Daniel Lawrence, UK physiotherapist and licensed healthcare professional. Thanks for watching.